If somebody dared you to take a bath in charcoal, would you do it? I mean, what's so great about charcoal anyway when it comes to your skin? Have you ever tried activated charcoal soap before? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be answering a lot of these questions and showing you things to put in your soap to make it nice and luxurious. All right, hold on. Before you kick over your barbecue grill, stick around and watch to see if you should take on that dare. Hello and good day, I am Natasia, and in today's video, we are gonna take some hair and put it right in our soap. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. This is actually tussa silk. Tussa silk is a protein produced by a silkworm, or a moth, if you will. They leave their cocoons behind, and they're collected and soaked and spun into these single fibers. The single fibers are then made into thread. There are several species of tussa silk moths which are in China, India, Japan, Africa, and North America. What does it do for your skin? Where tussa silk adds a silky, soft texture to the soap, it also adds slip. So the soap has a luxurious texture when it glides against your skin. It makes it ideal for shaving bars for your legs or your face, your beard. The silk proteins help to soften your skin and improves moisture retention. Tussa silk also adds hardness to your soap bar so that it can last longer. This is activated charcoal or activated carbon or activated coconut carbon or activated coconut charcoal. This product has an amazing ability to absorb impurities and it also filters impurities. So you might have seen people use activated charcoal to brush their teeth, to make facial masks. It also has been used to absorb the effects of alcohol poisoning, food poisoning, or if your occasional dog gets into the garbage or into your stash and you don't have one clue what they ate, generally the vet will give them activated charcoal to absorb the effects. Activated charcoal also helps to deep clean, exfoliate, detoxify, and brighten pores while controlling acne, controlling oil, minimizing pores, and help to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Cinnamon Supreme is an excellent fragrance oil to use. Guys, this end up smelling like baked Cinnabons. I'm paying special attention to not create any bubbles in the batter. Ideally, you want a smooth, rich, textured soap, and soap bubbles kind of ruin that. So earlier I mentioned, don't kick over your barbecue grill, but guys, it's a totally different charcoal. Activated charcoal is actually made from charring bamboo, coconut shells, or even certain types of coal to create this product. So it's not the coal that you barbecue with, so please don't think you're cutting corners and get in your motor and pestle and start grinding away. No, 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 please don't do that. Can we get into how rich and silky this daggone soap look? Oh my goodness. This is the next day and I have to say I am anticipating how this is gonna look because so far it looks good. Okay, so guys, because activated charcoal is porous, molecules and toxins of certain substances will stick to its surface area. In soap, it has a great ability to clean out oil and dirt from your pores by binding to it. So when you wash off your areas where you've used an activated charcoal soap or activated charcoal, the oils and the dirt will attach to the surface area of the activated charcoal. Then when you rinse off, it washes it all away. So who's ready for the soap cut? All right now, hold on to your barbecue chicken. Come on, 
come on look how uniform it looks don't like the cut marks that the soap cutter made but we're not playing games over here we're not playing games we're trying to improve our skills we're trying to improve our skills if you want to use activated charcoal i would suggest using one teaspoon per pound of oil or a half a teaspoon or just test it the less amount you use the more grayer it looks and it has like a nice gradient color in this batch i use one teaspoon per pound of oil so i end up using about two teaspoons please keep in mind that the more of the activated charcoal you use in your soap the darker or grayer your soap suds is going to look I wouldn't go above one teaspoon per pound of oils, but like I said, you have to test it to see for yourself. It's now time to do a lather test. How many you think that the water will turn black? Let's see. think so it ain't turning black <laughs> but it is slightly like maybe a tinge of gray but look at the suds the suds are white and look at that lather oh my goodness this soap is ready to detoxify your life filter out your friends get rid of the bad energy in your life do <laughs> your taxes <laughs> So now we about to accessorize. You got the black dress, you look cute, but you gotta accessorize. We about to dress up this soap, and the reason why I always like to include this in the video is so that you guys can see how it pulls together and look at that. It looks creamy, it looks uniform, it just looks awesome. I love beveling my soap. I love big soaps, I love tall soaps. This one is very simplistic. You would think that it is an easy soap to make, you guys. It's not easy to make this soap because if you have a lot of bubbles in your batter, it's going to look like ashy. You ever see somebody who just wash their face and all around their lips are just white and ashy and on their on chin? That, that's how it look. It look ashy. It look dry. It just looks very dry. <laughs> oh, goodness. I did not want my soap looking dry. I wanted it looking juicy and creamy and rich. And I achieved that. And I love it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if someone dares you to bathe in charcoal, would you do it based on this video? So I know you've noticed that in this video, I didn't include this nice white Art Deco design. Guys, I'm going to be coming out with a series where I'm going to show you some of the tricks and tips that I do for certain soap designs. But in the meantime, again, protect your energy. Please continue to watch my channel and I appreciate you guys time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.